Well, Greece shouldn't be bailed out either. Are you kidding me? Why should hardworking Germans or hardworking Dutch come to the rescue of people who've been spending money they didn't have and lying about it for many, many years? This is absurd. The best thing that can happen would be for Greece to go bankrupt. That would be good for Greece and it would be good for Europe and for the Euro. Look, if Greece went bankrupt, then people would know that the Euro is going to be a sound, strong, hard currency that they would not tolerate people spending money they didn't have and running up huge debts. I would rush in and buy as many euros as I could if I thought that they were going to make it a real sound currency. I don't know who will be next. We read that many countries in Europe have been doing this. But you're not going to have a sound currency if you keep papering it over every time somebody runs up huge debts. Well, the Treaty of Maastricht in 1992 said countries could not do this, and so many countries started faking the books. Greece has been, li been saying they had sound uh, books for many, many years, and they haven't. Other countries have been saying, oh, we're abiding by the Treaty of Maastricht, and they have not been abiding by the Treaty of Maastricht. Sure, the original guys knew that this sort of thing could happen and would happen, and they had a treaty. Well, everybody's ignored the treaty. No, it should be extended if, if the people, the countries that they bring in are sound and run a sound uh, economy, don't run up huge debts, have a balanced budget, those countries should be part of the euro. Then you would have a strong euro. Spendthrift countries that use phony bookkeeping and lie about their spending should not be part of the euro, or the euro will fail. Most paper money these days is suspect because politicians all over the world have learned to buy votes. They spend money, they pay, you know, they buy votes here, they buy votes there. There are very few sound currencies anymore, and the ones that are still sound are very small. First of all, no currency union in history has ever worked. People have tried this before, it's not the first time. And the reality, the reason they don't work is because politicians ignore it, they run their own little game on the side, and the next thing you know, the currencies are weakened from within. If they paper over Greece, and if they paper over some other countries, the euro will continue to weaken from within, and eventually there won't be anything there except an unsound currency, and politicians will then remove themselves from the euro, or they will have to be thrown out, and then the euro disintegrates. This has happened to all currency unions. There's nothing unusual about it. Why did Brussels let this happen? Brussels must, well maybe they don't have any competent people in Brussels, but somebody, I knew that this was happening, other people knew this was happening, many other countries have been using phony books, and I guess everybody just, like many politicians, they just hoped it wouldn't erupt until they had gone. Look, no, it could happen. Look at the United States. The United States is a very, you know, it's a huge country with many different parts of the economy. They have a single currency. It took decades. It took civil war. It took lots of things, but they have a single sound currency over many different kinds of economies. Europe could do it, but they, somebody's got to be tough and somebody's got to say you have to abide by the Treaty of Maastricht. You have to have a sound economy. So far, nobody's done it, including the Germans. The Germans who insisted in 1992 in the Treaty of Maastricht that everybody would run a sound economy. Well, not, not, not even the, Russia, the Germans use a sound economy, a sound bookkeeping. Well, of course, the, the, euro, the people in, in the UK who said stay out of the euro, if the euro continues to have problems, they will say, look, well, we told you to stay out of the euro. But don't forget, sterling's got even worse problems. I mean, it's not worse, perhaps, but sterling has gigantic problems of its own. Sterling is a very flawed currency and is going to have many more problems over the next decade or so. The creditor nations in the world, the largest creditor nations in the world are all in Asia, China, Japan, Korea, Taiwan, Singapore, Hong Kong. This is where the assets are. Of course the currencies here are much sounder than the ones in, in the West. These people are creditors. In the West, they're debtors. Well, I've heard politicians say that sort of thing many, many, many times. We, we do know that the German people, the public, is against bailing out Greece. In fact, the people in many countries are against bailing out Greece. I hope she backs down. Unfortunately, I mean, I hope she doesn't back down. I hope she does refuse to bail out Greece. Unfortunately, politicians are not very sound people or they wouldn't be politicians. 
I think they're going to paper it over. I think that somehow or another they're going to bail Greece out, which I don't think is good for the euro or for Europe or for Greece for that matter. Oh, somehow or another so that they can say that we, we didn't really do it. They can say the IMF did it. They can say banks did it. They can say whatever, you know, some kind of way that they can cover over and say I didn't, I, Angela Merkel, didn't do it. It was done by the IMF. It was done by someone else. Then they can paper it over which is bad for the euro, bad for Greece, bad for Europe, but they'll figure out a way. I don't think that's good. I'm just telling you that's what will probably happen. What should be done is for Greece to go bankrupt. I don't think that's going to happen, unfortunately. The IMF has at least still enough borrowing power that they could go in and do something to bail Greece out. They bailed out a lot of people over the years. I mean, the IMF basically sh should be abolished. The IMF keeps bailing out bankrupt countries. Uh, and eventually the IMF is going to fail as well. But at the moment, I suspect the IMF could bail out Greece if they had to. Yes, in my view, because then what are you going to do when the next country comes along, when country X comes along, and then country Y, and then country Z? Then what's going to happen? I mean, eventually... Nobody has enough money to bail these out, and as I said, the euro disintegrates from within because it continues to weaken itself.